For my part, I knew where I wanted to record. I've done a lot of my recent work at uh, Spin Studios in New York with an engineer named uh, Nick Timbukas, and he's uh, he's got an ear for um, this kind of music, and, and I've done other styles of albums with him. Um, he's been involved with some pretty well-known uh, records with um, groups like Lamb of God and Bujira. The tracking was different this time around. Y you know, we were all busy this past year, year and a half tracking. So we did the bulk of the tracking in, uh, in New York, in New York City. Mike, like uh, normal, he tracked the drums in his home studio. Dave tracked in Arizona, and Alex and I tracked in New York. I love being able to write a song and then track the drums, like, uh, you know, within a couple days or sometimes even right there and then, you know, within a couple hours of having written it. Um, and working at my home studio and having the guys at my place is just a great environment. Well, I'm a guy that when I moved to, out of Los Angeles to Arizona back in 1993, I thought, you know, I'll move out to Arizona, I have all this place, this is space, and I can get a studio, and then immediately went on tour and the studio never happened. And I realize now today technology changes so quick that I, I just have like just a very basic little kind of writing setup. And I've also realized that, that you know, nothing gets in the way of a good, great musical performance or a creative idea than having to be an engineer, you know, and, and I, I'm not very good with both. So I've learned over the years to find some people that I can trust and go to, to like, hey, you run the knobs, I'll play the bass. And so on my um, tracking on, on this record, I actually went to my friend uh, uh, John Aquilino, has got an amazing underground studio called Platinum Recorders out in uh, Mesa, Arizona. And I've done a few record projects there. And then we used one remote location to do all the engineering, getting you know, all of our special guests into the studio, tracking with us. Again, we did that again. We just didn't track them all over the world. We had a good amount of uh, the folks come on in and track with us. And we worked with one engineer to kind of spearhead and place all this stuff in and, and, uh, and get it all together. I, th I think the majority of it, post drums, ended up being done at, at SPIN, including the Mark Torn Tornillo track. Um, Mark from Death Angel came and tracked live with us. And uh, a lot of the, um, the overdubs and just the, the editing, all the all twos. So uh, that really became headquarters. But it was awesome, it was awesome working with a whole new group of people. Tommy from Nuclear Blast recommended Mark Lewis, who um, is also a, a guitar player himself. So he knows a, a lot about guitar. So we were able to really um, connect about guitar parts. I've known Mark for many years. Um, he comes from this Florida underground of the sickest, darkest, most wicked metal ever. Kind of my second experience with it because he's uh, just recently uh, remixed Megadeth's Killing Is My Business record. And listening to those mixes um, and hearing, you know, just the clarity and quality of what he does, I was excited to hear what he was going to do with uh, Metal Legions and we started getting the mixes back. Instantly on board. It's like, that is awesome. It sounds great, and uh, he, you know, he, he killed it. For this record, is we wanted someone who could just take our sound and take what we we did on this record, the aggression. You know, it's a super heavy record, and to really make it sound full, thick. And uh, when Mark did his test mixes, at least for me, I was blown away. It's easy to forget when you hear uh, the whole record, the finished product, but it's really a lot of work from start to finish, and then. You know, all the, the writing, and the, you know, the lyrics, and the vocals, and then backup vocals, guitars, harmony guitars, guest guitar, you know. Um, the, the mixing was just really a fun part of the process because musically everything had been done and we got to hear it back and it all sounded good. There were very few uh, musical changes and edits that we wanted. I think there would be, you know, you probably count them on one hand, but the music just felt so solid. And, you know, we're stoked that he took this on and that he's part of us now.